Okay, so uh, it's uh, October the 22nd, 2017. It's uh, autumn stroke winter here in Ireland. Um, temperature's about uh, 10 degrees, 50 Fahrenheit to anyone watching in anywhere where it's Fahrenheit. And um, like the thought struck me that people watching these videos might wonder to themselves where on earth did uh, I get the idea of sailing and uh, you know doing up a boat, renovating a boat. And the answer to that is quite simply YouTube. I've uh, been watching videos on YouTube about sailing. I first started watching actually a very small channel called Wicked Salty who were kind of um, uh, off the YouTube for uh, a good while there. They recently came back and got a new boat and suffered um, some misfortune with that new boat they got and their plans have been put on hold to go sailing. Um, obviously I've watched all the big uh, sailing channels like probably you watching this. Um, you've watched uh, the big channels like Delos. Like they, you know, travel the world, uh, really living the life that most people watching sailing videos aspire to in some way. Um, they certainly tapped into a niche. Uh, their sailing abilities have increased exponentially over the time I've been watching their videos. And, um, you know, they're really accomplished sailors and well respected. Um, they have a fantastic big boat which cost Brian a lot of money initially. He, he was in a position, he had some money at the time, I suppose, and was fortunate, you know, that he, he was able to do that. Other people I watch, uh, obviously, uh, Sailing the Vagabond, um, Riley and Elena, they, um, you know, have been very successful. A lot of people criticize them because their you know, new situation with their catamaran and the deal they worked out with uh, Ultramare and uh, you know, people just criticize them for being successful basically. I liked their videos when they were you know, on the mono hull and uh, I like their videos now. I mean, the basic thing is that it's, they're still the same people and uh, people complaining about their success or how they've sold out, blah, blah, blah. Is really just you know negativity from people sitting in their houses, you know, looking at the, the YouTube and typing miserable rubbish on their computer. Um, it reflects more about them than, than Riley and Elena. Then of course there's uh, sailing happy together, Randy and Lenny. Uh, they have a great situation. You know, they've both worked hard. Um, in, Lenny is uh, involved in construction, Randy's involved in some kind of manufacturing, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but they've been very successful and they live a, a different lifestyle where they sort of go uh, every couple of months to their catamaran and uh, travel for a period of time and then fly back to work and you know repeat that again and they have you know high standard of living quite a lot of disposable income obviously uh, they're not you know flaunty about it but it's just as obvious fact from watching their, their lifestyle um, they seem like really lovely people um, all these things that I'm talking about are all people that have through either hard work or their circumstances found themselves in a situation where they have large amounts of disposable income to fund their lifestyle now that's not me <laughs> <laughs> that's not near me, that's probably never going to be me unless I win the lottery. Um, so, how could I make the leap to thinking of actually going sailing based on having watched them? Well, there's a whole other load of sailing channels that are, are not people that are you know, successful or you know, independently wealthy. And those people such as um, Sailing Rad Mode, fantastic channel really nice people bought a boat that was a half finished uh, west sail 32 and, and have done it up and they're sailing around the uh, uh, san francisco delta sort of area there for their own personal reasons they're sort of limited in their scope of travel at the moment but within that area that they find themselves in they do a fantastic amount of sailing they do more sailing and more hardcore sailing than many channels that have traveled in the world so, you know, they're, they're making the best of their situation. They're living on their boat. Uh, they have their kids on the boats um, on and off uh, due to their family situation. Um, but, you know, they come across as really nice people. Um, 
other people like uh, uh, Sailor Rama, Justine and Robinson. Uh, they bought a, a small boat and did it up and uh, started traveling down the west coast of America. And uh, one of the people following them on YouTube put them in touch with another boat that was kind of in disrepair, uh, that was, I think, either gonna be scrapped or dumped or whatever. But they went and checked the boat out and they got the boat for very small money or for nothing and uh, did that boat up, sold the other boat that they'd previously done up to somebody else and it was a win-win for everybody. They're a fantastic channel. Robinson is a, a, a child who, a man who at the time he was a child was on a boat with his mother and her partner and a load of other people. And they were the people that were on Chagas, uh, sailed around the world, sailed the Chagas, uh, where some of you who watch Delos may have seen them going. And they were the original hippie boat people. So he's, you know, a long history in, in um, sailing and boating and living off the ocean and all that. And their channel is great, fantastic stuff. He catches fish, they prepare fish and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, they live on a very shoestring budget. Um, there's a couple of other people um, you know, I can just think of. Like, the endless amount of them. Sailor James, another really guy I started watching recently. He's a guy that uh, bought a boat for like $4,000. Uh, I think it's an Alberg 30 or something like that. And he's been doing the boat up himself. The thing about all these people I'm talking about now, they're all buying small, cheap boats, doing, those, doing the work themselves, doing those boats up, and going sailing in whatever... Uh, parameters that they're happy or comfortable or able to sail in, like be it setting off and traveling to Mexico, traveling around the world, traveling around the San Francisco area, Delta, whatever, traveling on some inland waterways, which is what I'm considering doing. Now, I'm not going to be living aboard full time, let's not have any illusions about that, because I have a, a home and I have a family and I have a house and all that, so. I'm not going to be heading off and, and living on my little 17 foot boat on the Shannon Aaron Waterway here in Ireland. But I intend to make use out of it and sail and you know, travel around within the confines of that, that area. Also, the, the actual renovation I'm doing up of the boat. Like I'm reasonably handy at, at doing stuff. You know, I built a house myself, I worked in construction work and things like that. So I am capable of, of doing a lot of uh, you know manual tasks and what I can't do I can learn thanks to YouTube once again I learned to do a lot of things that I couldn't previously do it's just a matter of applying yourself seeking out the knowledge and you know practice 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 until you get you know able to do it to a standard that's you know acceptable so I'm quite confident that I'm able to to do a lot of the work even now that needs to be done on the boat and anything I can't do I can I can you know be a pretty quick study and learn how to do it. So all those skills that I have or I'm adapting or I'm learning are things which can apply to a bigger boat at some point in the future in you know a bigger sort of adventure traveling over a wider area you know to wherever I decide to go. Like I was watching recently um, sailing Ruby Rose, Nick and Teresa, lovely people, fantastic channel, and uh, they were re just returned to their boat. They've been on the hard for a couple of months while they've been off for hurricane season, visiting family and friends and things. And one of the tasks they took into when they first got back was uh, scraping the bottom and anti-fouling the boat. And looking at it, I couldn't help but think that yeah. What they're doing is pretty much the same thing as I'm going to have to do with my little boat, only it's sort of, you know, two and a half times the, the whole size. So every skill that I am learning on the boat that I'm fixing up, that I'm renovating, are things that will transfer directly to a bigger boat in, you know, different circumstances. So it's all a process, all... Um, part of a, of, a, of a bigger, potentially bigger plan that could come to fruition at some point. Now it may not. I may end up sailing around on my little boat around the, the inland waterways of Ireland. 
that may be it. You know, I may put the boat on a trailer and go and head to around the coast of Ireland at some point. That may be where it ends. But potential is there for to expand the horizons, to you know, build on this, to you know, transition to a bigger, better boat. You know, and in the future, as and when those situations arise. So that's the plan. That's what I'm thinking. And I just thought I should put it out there for anyone that was interested in, you know, what the whole thought process was behind it and what my motivations were and how I'd become, you know, uh, motivated to do this by, you know, other external forces. And those external forces are YouTube and all the people that are doing it. Seeing that people with little or no budget could buy a fairly decrepit boat and put in a bit of time and effort to do it up and get out and sail it, you know, is what has really inspired me because I can see myself achieving that. That's an achievable goal rather than, uh, you know, you have to have half a million euros or dollars to buy a boat and to fit it out to go and do anything. Like that's what a lot of people on forums and YouTube are always saying, oh yeah, you need to be rich. No, you don't need to be rich. You just need to be motivated and you need to do the work. Simple as that. So that's it. I hope it explains uh, what it's about and what my, my plans are for the future are about with regards to the boat. And uh, anyone any other questions or whatever, uh, pop them in the comments and uh, I'll try and answer what I can. Okay, so that's it. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll see you next time.